Good evening, everyone. Test, test, test. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2. No, I did not fart. That is my chair. I promise, I didn't fart. And if I did, I would definitely admit to it. Thank you for joining us and coming into my channel. If this is your first video that you've ever seen of me, I promise it's not like any other YouTube channel that you've ever seen. Um, basically, I play Roblox. I'm 40 years old and I love it. I love the game. Um, I have written a book. I've written a couple of books on um, how to program and code in Roblox. <clears throat> and basically, um, this episode is um, the the Christmas presents because it's it's Christmas time. Christmas time, oh Christmas time. But as you can see, I've made a mess. We need to fix it because it's going to get out of control before we know it and I'm not gonna be able to do anything with any of this. So that's the first thing that we need to do. We need to just push all this stuff out of the way and build up some more spots, some more slots, some things. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to expand this out and we might even go on around this direction and kind of fill in the little blanks here. I don't, I don't know yet, but that's, that's what my plan is. So let's go ahead and go to the smooth walls. I think it's smooth walls. Is it smooth? No, it's not smooth. Uh, B. Is it large floors? Large floors? Uh, might be a large floor. So rotate, turn, rotate. Yeah, it's a large floor. There we go. Um, actually, actually, hmm, wait, let's do this. That's going to cause problems because that's going, that's going to fill in the blueprint and we don't want to fill in the blueprint. Not yet. Hold on. That one's in the way as well. All right. Can we move that right there? Perfect score. So, um, if you guys like the base cleaning videos, shout out into the uh the comments be like god i love the base cleanings because I, I know there's a lot of people that like request them and do them all the time and i need to apologize because yesterday i didn't want to record i wasn't feeling it at all and if you go back and watch that video you can tell i mean you could tell like i was just down for the entire day and my, my wife was telling me about it and just like you just seem out of it i'm like yeah i know i just I'm not feeling my usual cheery self, and I don't know why. And she was like, is it because you turned 40? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't think so. I'm not going through like midlife crisis. I don't want a Ferrari or anything. You know, that's just how it is. And then she started looking up some things on the internet and realized that I have like 10 out of the 13 symptoms for celiac, I call it celiac. Um, celiac disease or something like that but it's really closely related with adhd and it has to do with gluten so i started putting putting we started sitting down and just kind of figuring it out and we realized that whenever i'm on my keto diet what do i cut out i cut out all the breads all the wheats all that stuff and we realized that I might have an allergic reaction. I might have an intolerance to gluten. And we started thinking about it. So today I cut all gluten out of my diet. Now, like I still had carbs and sugars and stuff like that, but anything that had gluten, we cut out. And to my amazement, I don't feel bloated. I don't feel lethargic. I don't feel tired. I'm way less cranky. I've got more energy. Now, I'm not going to sit here and diagnose myself. If I want an actual diagnosis, I'm going to have to go to a doctor and stuff like that. But what if this entire time I've had celiac disease and I didn't know it? Is it celiac disease? I don't, I don't even know if that's what it's called. But holy cow, that's a, that is a game changer for me. Because like this entire time, I would eat uh, lunch or I'd eat breads and stuff like that. And I think to myself, man, I get super tired right after eating, about 15 minutes after I eat. And sure enough, that's one of the signs of uh, Cineac's disease. <laughs> Poor Cineac. Uh, I know he was going through some things um, intestinal wise and just really hard time, but I couldn't believe it. Like when she suggested it, I was like, yeah, right. No, that's not a thing. 
sure enough. So if there's if there's anybody out there who's allergic to gluten, um, comment down below if you want. I mean, I'm not trying to point anybody out, and I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad about like how they have to diet and stuff. I'm just thoroughly curious how many people have ever had a problem with gluten, like an inability to digest it, and it comes from wheat spreads, rye stuff like that. Found out one of my favorite things, barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's got gluten. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm like, that didn't fill in, but it disappeared. No, that was the wrong one. So. Uh, I'm super excited. I'm excited to find an, a solution. Dang it. 147. Anybody ever have that before? 147? Like the huge number of the percentages just happens. Just gotta destroy it, move on. So, go to the large wall place. It's gonna be awkwardly inept. Oh, it's like 79%. Dang it. Uh, and that's gonna be too big. Let's get a little sliver of ice wood here. A little sliver of ice wood. That'll, that'll complete our task of the palm woods. There we go. So now I should be able to, oh, I can't grab it. I can't grab it. Dang it. We'll put the purple presents in here. Actually, we could just put all the presents together, but I mean, I got a ton of presents from the other day. By the way, thank you, Grey Wolf, Grey, Grey Dog, Grey Fox, the guy that joined me. The guy that gave me the presents. Oh, by the way, we also have like 3.2 million views on the channel. Is it 3.2 or 30? I don't, I don't remember. Hold on. I'm going to look up some statistics real quick. Pause. Oh yeah. I was, I was like way off. 30 million, 30.2 million views. We just hit that, uh, either like at the beginning of this month or a little bit before. 30 million views. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh, and by the way, there was a, an email that I got today from YouTube about the uh, end of year statistics or whatnot. Like, how was your year stuff? Hold on. I knew there was a blank one over here. Yeah, there we go. We can put these presents in there. Or wait, did I already have a place for these presents? Or no? Had a place for the turkeys though. Turkeys. Oh, is that gonna get full? That might get full too quick. Oh, I wanted to hang some. Uh... No, no sneeze. <laughs> I wanted to hang up some Christmas lights, and in fact, I think I. Oh. I think I bought some. Didn't I buy some? Didn't I buy Christmas lights? <sighs> I didn't. Well, when it when it comes back on, I'll uh, I'll go grab some Christmas lights. The the sun when the sun turns back on. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, the shop's not open right now, so otherwise I would. Anyhow, I do apologize about yesterday. Um, that video was just me. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't me. It didn't feel like me. Hello, message, people. Uh, also, um, Oculus has released workrooms for Horizon. If you guys don't know what Oculus is, is it's a VR helmet, VR headsets, kind of like Ready Player One. And y'all need to get them. Okay, I'm sorry, everybody that's over the age of 13, you should get them, definitely. And the reason I say 13 is because the development age for your brains and for your eyes is still happening before the age of 13. This is this is on the warning labels and the medical stuff. I'm not a doctor, so I'm just going off with the labels saying. I'm just surprised at like how many kids have Oculus headsets. And like I, I know my son has one and he's 11. My daughter has one and she's 14, so. I mean, what's the difference between 11 and 14? Especially if he's taller and bigger than she is, you know? 
I don't think there's a whole heck of a lot of difference. But. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That's good, right? Ow! Sorry. Sorry. Smacked the, the camera. How many presents do we have this year? One, two, three, four, five. We have five different presents. That is exciting. Hold on, I gotta find those little presents. They're like all over the place. Oh gosh, run, 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 run. And I know that there was a lot of people who were um, trying to spoil it for me. Please don't. Don't tell me what's in the boxes. I don't wanna know. I want it to be a surprise on Christmas morning. A lot of people, um, they, they live to try and figure out what's in the boxes before they're released. I just, I've never been like that, you know? And I try to stay out of the the news feeds that try to exploit to get them. Oh, 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 oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, also, when reviewing the code for um, my book, I will say this with a grain of salt. It's, it works. The code works, okay? Um, when I got a copy of the recent release, the one that they're going to publish, the code was all messed up and it was not to my original code. Like variables, hold on, how do I, how do, I do this? So like um, on a variable, if I said uh, blue cat, right? That variable name doesn't have any spaces, but inside the book, for some reason, they're doing this. Blue space underscore space cat. I tried to go through and correct all of it that I could. I used their formatting tags. They've, they've got stuff like uh, C1 is code left no line above or below. And then C2 is code left one line above. And then like C6 is code left one line below. So like they, they came up with this scheme of sorts to, to make the formatting go into the book. And I did this like three times now where they sent me the code, they sent me the manuscript, I look at it, and I'm like, this is completely wrong. This is nothing like what I sent you. Why are you messing this up? So, please be gentle in the review. <laughs> the code does work, I promise. I've tested it, I've got it uh, all, I, I actually have a um, experience, a game created called the Advanced Roblox Coding Book. And inside there, it's got all my updated code. It's got all the stuff that we were working on. It does work, but <sighs> this last one, I finally, I took my code directly from studio, copied and pasted it into a Word document with the correct tabs, the correct spaces, the correct spellings. And I said, look, here's how it's supposed to go. I'm not gonna try and format it in, in your code anymore. This has the correct spacing. This has the correct syntax. This is correct. So hopefully they understand. Anyhow, that was me being cranky. And uh, same same thing happened with the, the first book. Like there's a couple of spots in there where it wraps. Like the code, uh, let's see. Like function upload character um character data store something like that right now that's all one line but in the book you see stuff like this function upload character character data store so if you, if you get what I'm saying, like the lines were too long, so they didn't 
indicate that that was the the same line they just made a new line and kept going on i'm like guys you can't do that that, that will mess up the code somebody's going to get like a the, the electronic version of that book they're going to copy it put it into their code and it's just not going to work <sighs> anyhow so if you happen to be getting my new new book or if you happen to be getting the current book for christmas please be aware of those little changes inside the um the stuff inside the book okay it was not intentional i did not do it like that a little embarrassed about it in, in fact I'm, I'm a lot embarrassed about it because it made me look like an idiot code you're not an idiot well you know i know i'm not an idiot i've got a lot of uh, a lot of ex oops a lot of experience under my belt a lot of different programming languages, a lot of time inside the code. Not just Roblox, inside programming in general. Like, to the point I've probably forgotten more code now than I will use over the rest of my lifetime. Cool. Hey, I see you under there just hiding. My nose is starting to clog up, by the way. And I don't know why the air didn't turn on. Hmm. You ever notice that? Like your nose will just clog up for no reason. No good reason. Okay, we need to make another. So let's go to walls. Smooth wall. Ooh, rotate, turn, rotate. Get out the way! <clears throat> All right there. Good. We can't do it right there, so we're just gonna have to bear with it. Now, if I come out one space. Twice. Ooh, that's gonna be a tight fit. But that should be fine. It should be okay. Let's go back over to floors and we're gonna go to rotate turn, rotate. And we should be able to fit right. Come on. Come on, be game. There we go. One. And oh, did that work? Almost. One more. Or wait, is that... There we go. Good. And then this one, I'm actually going to push all the way up against the wall. Come on. Maybe. Ah! It's not going one one more spot over. Oh, oh, hold on. It was there. There it is. Boom. Done. And I'll have a little space gap right there. Yay. Clean up, clean up. We're picking up our base. Pick up. Is it pick up? It's pick up. <sighs> so there's a so song I used to sing to my kids to help them with picking up their toys. Pick up, pick up, we're picking up our toys. Pick up, pick up, like good little girls and boys. And that was that was our little song. And they liked it. It made picking up the toys go faster. I'm telling you that. <laughs> One of the hardest things to pick up were Legos. Legos. Oh. And you always pick those up as a parent because if you ever forget to pick those things up and you have to go in and check on your kids at nighttime or something, it gets right into your foot. That is, oh, just saying. By the way, I've noticed, um, see the little calic on my character? It's totally the same as my little calic right back here. And I didn't, I didn't even realize it. His hair is not quite as suave as mine. Mine does like this little boop right here at the front. His is like a boop. Like that, like a whoop. I should, I should do that. I should make that my outro. Boop. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, I don't even know what these are. I'm excited for them though. Ah, oh, my poor nose. Base cleaning is my favorite thing to do. Not really. I hate picking up. You guys love these videos for some reason, and I just despise trying to pick things up. I wish, 
I wish Defaultio would make me a Roomba. A little, a little robot that would go around my base and I'd designate areas to put things and just pick all of my presents up and put them there. <sighs> I think we've been spoiled by the Roomba. It goes through in vacuums every day. 10.30. Thing starts going off and just does its little job. You know? We have to go and make sure that the... Oh, I should have stacked those better. Have to make sure that the um, little rugs inside the bathroom, like the the shower mats, make sure that they're picked up and... <clears throat> excuse me. Not in the way. Why did I make these? Oh, this was down below, wasn't it? This was whenever I was uh, building underneath the base. There we go. All better. What are these? Silver axes. <gasps> oh, this is a sad, sad feeling. So the reason I have, oh gosh, all these silver axes right here is back whenever we were doing the, um, the Twitter axe. So, oh, I'm, I'm going to sneeze. I, pro I promise. Uh, hold on. <coughs> oh, there it was. Make a wish. <laughs> when a YouTuber sneezes, a fairy gets his wings. No, you get a wish. Isn't that every time a bell rings, a fairy gets his wings? Something like that? I don't know. I can't remember the details. Um, let's see. I've got these lights over here. But I mean, that's for, that's for Halloween and stuff, right? Hold on. Were they already on? And I just turned them off? Oh yeah, they were. <laughs> but they didn't attach right there for some reason. Hmm. Are they on? Huh. They're not on. Why aren't you on? Hold on. Move. Ah, there we go. Okay. So let's do this. Let's attach here, 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 here. There they are. Good deal. That's not what we wanted right now. What we want are Christmas lights. Yay. Now this year I actually, uh, I did something different to our own house. I did all blue lights and they look amazing. I absolutely love just the pure blue. All right. So if you want to decorate your own house or your own base with uh, Christmas lights, you're going to have to go over to fancy furnishings. And they're in the middle. Of course, most of you probably know that already. If you've never played Lumber before and this is your first time and you've learned something new from me, thank you. Comment down below. I learned jumping. If you want to comment, you don't have to comment anything. It's purely, purely aesthetic for fun. Um, I will try and get that video about how to program with an Oculus, how to make uh, VR games on your Oculus headset with an Oculus in Roblox Studio. I'll try and get that hooked up and uh, I hope it has enough interest that you guys will go out and purchase an oculus or get one for Christmas or birthdays or whatever the case may be parents okay so if the parents are iffy about whether or not you want to spend three hundred four hundred dollars on a headset just think of it like this the same amount that you're going to be spending on a console such as a Nintendo Switch or a PS5, something like that, is less than the amount that you'll spend on a headset, okay? And it will come with more games than you could possibly imagine. Why am I picking up yellow? I don't want yellow, I want blue. Yay, blue lights. We need more, more lights. I think it'd be kind of cool to, to mix all the lights, don't you? Ooh. Was that 15,000? Or was that 1,500? How much was that? 1,500? That's a lot of money. I know. You guys are sitting here like, Code, you've got 12 million. You can spare some. Man, that respawn time took a long time. So, here's kind of a question... If you were accused 
of being a good person. Would a jury find you guilty? That was a, a saying that one of my staff sergeants said to me back in Okinawa. She said, if you were accused of being a good Marine, would you be found guilty? Of course, that was back whenever I worked in corrections, and it kind of made more sense back then, but just saying. It's something that stuck with me for a really long time. I like to consider myself a good person, but I don't think it's 100% accurate. Like, I don't, I don't see myself in the same light that you guys always put me in, if that makes sense. A lot of you look up to me, a lot of you say, Code, you're, you're such a good person, you're so good, and I don't feel that like that. I don't feel that way. Not all the time. You know, I, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes just like everybody else does, and whenever I do make mistakes, I will try and own up to them um, the best that I can. I apologize for the mistake I made. Basically just, I try to be a good person. And that's the only thing that anybody could ever ask anyone. Just try, you know? Uh, I know that one of my rules inside my Discord is be good, don't be evil. That's like the motto. And the reason it's my motto is because that's what Google's motto used to be. It used to be don't be evil. Okay, that's a good motto to have, you know? Straightforward, very convenient, be good. Don't be evil. The other rules are listen to the admin, and then rule number four uh, is everybody gets a, uh, a unicorn. So, and that that rule is there to remind us that your imagination is key. If you're having a bad day, if you've been bullied, I know that I was bullied a lot back in middle school, high school just in general, just bullied. And it can be anything from like name calling to um, making fun of. And if you're, if you're the one doing the bullying, think about what you're, you're actually doing, what impact you're having on somebody's life. You know, it's not good, not good at all. And there is a big difference, okay? There's there's a big difference in between bullying and trolling. Trolling and trolls, they're out for one thing, a reaction from you, period. That's by definition a troll. Woohoo! <laughs> Pretty lights. And you don't have to put up with it. Okay, a lot of people think, well, just tell the person. No, don't tell the person anything. If they're a troll, if they're 100% an actual troll, do not respond. Do not react. Don't give them any kind of satisfaction that says, you got me. Because there is no arguing with a troll. And the best way to destroy a troll is to starve it. Do not feed the trolls. Ugh, oh, why is that chat on there? Get off there. I've had my fair share of trolling back in the day. Finished. Oh, that is awesome. I don't like that picture though. Hold on, let's get that down. Move. Rotate, rotate. There we go. Uh-oh. Move. Rotate, rotate. There it is. Purple square. I call this Midnight Dream. It's my artistic. My artistic is coming out. Uh, somebody was asking. No, never mind. I think I already answered what Charlie Dog is. This this thing. It's uh, from an old T-shirt called One Sick Puppy. But it was funny. That was as edgy as I got back in the day. <laughs> oh man, I know that's too short. Okay. Um, can we come around the edge here just a little bit? Come back up. There we go. Oh, it's almost too far away. How far can we go? How far can we go? It's red. It's it's too far. There we go. Finished. Nice. We're going to have to move these down too. 
Let's see. Rotate, rotate, rotate. We'll put these right down here. On either side. Uh-oh. There's a button in the way. No. Not you, button. We'll move this over here. And you. Right here. About equal equal lengths on either side of the door. Come here, Squidward. I don't want to, SpongeBob. That was a horrible impression code. Don't ever do that again. Uh-oh. Got it turned sideways. Let's see. Uh, rotate. Turn. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh, gosh. Move. Let's see. If we do turn, turn, rotate, rotate. There we go. Oh, that was way off, too. Hold on. Can we come up some? There it goes. Sweet. Oh. Cancer survivor. The, the pink ribbon for my wife. Man, this base has a lot of memories. How do you think it's going to end? That might be an abstract question. Um, my channel. Make a prediction. I, I want to see what you guys think. Will my channel just slowly die off? Will I continue to make videos up until my 80s and 90s? Do you think it's going to get taken down by um, community guideline violation? I don't know. Whatever, whatever your imagination can come up with. I want to hear it. Nice. Write your comment down below. I mean, it might be a, a sad response or a sad reaction to it, but it'll be... Uh, It'll be interesting to hear, I think. Nobody wants to hear that. Like, oh, code, no, your channel will never die. It's going to be amazing. But I'm a realist. You know, things happen. I'm just curious as to how you guys think will they, they how will they happen? Uh oh. Ooh, nice. I like it. Oh, I can't go in through there. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. We're at 32 minutes. Um, if you liked this episode, if you just like me coming in here and building and kind of putting my lights up for Christmas time. Um, oh, I'm going to need to build a chimney for Santa. Ooh, we might do that next time. Maybe. No promises. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. As we build and clean and have fun on this Christmas week um is it christmas this week or next week i think it's next week i'll look it up anyhow enjoy your time love you guys very much don't forget to like comment subscribe down below do all those cool things i'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good youtuber does it's your choice if you want to subscribe go for it if not that's cool too you were here you watched you had fun i say this spiel all the time that it's like it's embedded in my brain now that's that's what i say every time but it's just a call to action. You don't have to do anything. Love you guys. Outro.